Knox Negations is a whole school curriculum framework. So what we do is we teach through an inquiry conceptual lens. So rather than looking at topics individually, we look at concepts. And this allows the boys to gain a deeper understanding and knowledge and apply this knowledge across a range of areas. Our boys belong to a changing world. Our units are designed to acknowledge this using global competencies and our boys are given many opportunities to think critically and work collaboratively as part of a team. These are skills that the boys need for a changing world. My favourite thing about Knox Negations is there's no right answer. It's more student-led and you interpret the information yourself and then you present your work. There are a lot of different answers and none of them are wrong. Technology use at Knox Prep is immersive, which means that the boys really engage in making sure that their learning is adaptable to their interests and their experience is far more engaging for what their interests are. They take personal interests and then they apply their inquiry to investigating and coming up with solutions to things that we as adults sometimes wouldn't even dream of. We embed technology in everything we do, purposefully. We have an E-STEAM approach, where E stands for empathy. We need to encourage our boys to empathise so that they can innovate and design for the purpose of helping others. Phase one of our Noxigations unit is tuning in, where we talk about what information we already know about the topic. Phase two is finding out. Finding out is where we find more detail into our topics. Phase three is sorting out, where you research information and put it into a group and then it makes sense. Phase four is going further. This is where you do even more research in the personal areas that you are interested in. Phase five is making conclusions, where we draw conclusions from the information we have and go a little bit deeper on what we want to know. Phase six is taking action, where you put all your information to change the world. It encourages a thirst for learning and it encourages curiosity. We have purposeful times where we stop and say, write down what are you wondering? What are you thinking about? So rather than just being passive learners, they're actively critically thinking and being curious about what they're learning. 